welcome you all once again to marine mechanic videos and the topic for the day is pressure relationships we all know that pressure is force acting upon a unit area that is simply expressed as force by area so proceeding further on both ships and even any uh, science student will deal with lots of pressure values like gauge pressure atmospheric pressure absolute pressure absolute zero pressure barometric pressure now in this video we are going to redefine and relearn something new about these pressure relationships to start with let's draw a line which represents atmospheric pressure so what is atmospheric pressure the pressure of air which is inside this room or the surrounding or to be more precise the pressure measured at the mean sea level is the atmospheric pressure and the rough value is 1.013 bar all right so i will mark it as atmospheric pressure here Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the pressure below atmospheric which means I'm going to go in partial vacuum state. So when the pressure drops down from the atmospheric pressure this pressure starts to drop and the drop in pressure is very minimal which means we have to have more precise unit to measure the vacuum or the amount of vacuum. That's the reason we measure either with MMH2O or mercury. Now, let's assume that the drop in pressure is over here. And this is a partial vacuum state. And now what I'm going to do is drop the pressure more down such that it is 100% vacuum. I'll draw a line over here. And this is... 100% vacuum which is zero absolute pressure so till now we have not talked about the absolute pressure remember the zero absolute pressure and absolute pressure are two different entities now 100% vacuum that is nothing is zero absolute pressure all pressure measurements are based from this line. If I say atmospheric pressure is 1.013 bar, it is measured with respect to the zero absolute pressure line. This is the one. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line which is slightly above atmospheric pressure over here. So this is above atmospheric pressure now we will define what is gauge pressure what is absolute pressure this will complete and enable one to understand clearly what are the relationship between all these pressures now how will you measure the atmospheric pressure on both ships on the bridge wings we have an equipment or inside the bridge we have an equipment which measures the atmospheric pressure and the deck officers write on the log every day the atmospheric pressure so how do you measure the atmospheric pressure for that we have a barometer which measures the atmospheric pressure and that is with respect to the zero absolute pressure line so this is called as barometric pressure now we know what is atmospheric pressure and the atmospheric pressure is measured with the help of barometer and the pressure which you measure with the help of barometer is barometric pressure now let's go with the gauge pressure I'll use uh, maybe some red color all right a gauge pressure is one which is shown on the gauge as simple as that but what does the gauge show does it show the zero absolute pressure not possible does it show the atmospheric pressure 
that's also not possible because the gates itself, the Borden tube itself is being manufactured under the atmospheric pressure. So, the, whatever the gate shows is it can read only the pressure which is above atmosphere. So, the gauge pressure is the pressure which is above atmospheric pressure. Then there are some gauges which has or which can read or measure the pressures which are negative. That is the partial vacuum zone. The calibration and the bottom tube are designed for that. So, Usually what we say is any pressure above the atmospheric pressure is the gauge pressure. But that's not absolutely perfect. The perfect gauge pressure is the gauge can measure even a partial vacuum state. That is some pressure gauges can read even the negative pressures. So the gauge pressure I am redefining it as the measurement of the pressure which is above the atmospheric pressure and slightly below the atmospheric pressure. That's gauge pressure. I will mark it over here. So this is gauge pressure. Now the last one is the absolute pressure. As I said earlier, the zero absolute pressure or the absolute zero pressure is completely different from the absolute pressure. Now, if the gauge reads a pressure, let's say above atmospheric pressure, we'll assume this to be 2 bar and we will assume this to be minus 40 mm of H2O. Let's assume, right? So, now if the gauge reads 2 bar, which is roughly 1 bar above atmospheric pressure, now, absolute pressure is gauge pressure plus the atmospheric pressure, which means from here you go and measure right away to this line. That's the absolute pressure. So, absolute pressure is the sum of gauge pressure and the atmospheric pressure. Now there is one more scenario which people usually don't think of. That's, let's say if the gauge reads minus 40 mm of H2, then what's the absolute pressure? That's only this. Absolute pressure is only this area. Since the pressure itself is less than the atmospheric pressure. Now, the gauge reads minus 40 mm of H2. We have something less than the atmospheric pressure. So, as I said earlier, absolute pressure is equal to gauge pressure plus atmosphere or atmospheric pressure. Now, it's less than the atmospheric pressure. So, this component is wide of. So, absolute pressure is equal to the gauge pressure in this scenario. So that's all I want to say about these relationships about various pressures.